Jello, everybody. Did I scare you? I scared you, huh? Yes, I am here today because, well, actually for two things. For one, I'm gonna show you a really easy craft. For two, I wanna do a quick update on one of my customs I made. And it's this squirrel that I got from McDonald's, the most recent uh, thing they did. They're giving out squirrels, you know, and there's other things. And I didn't really like how they made the squirrel purple, cause you know, squirrels aren't really purple. So I was watching Cookie Squirrel C, and she did a narwhal, or a narwhal, however you pronounce it, um, as a ice cream cone Sunday thing. So I tried to do that on my squirrel. And you can see there's like the whipped cream and the ears and the hair and the stomach. Then the waffle cone tail, pink for strawberry ice cream, chocolate syrup, and then I made it have a little red um, cherry nose. And then I really love how I did her eyes. They're kind of cross-eyed, and she has like perfect matching eyelashes, which I'm proud of. Um, she has chocolate drizzling down her back and down her tummy and stuff. And I did her dots using a toothpick. I cut it in half, and the big dots are the flat side of the toothpick, and the little dots are the pointy side. And that's a really good idea. And I used the pointy side of the toothpick to make the eyelashes. And you probably can't tell, but her eyes are supposed to be purple. They are purple, they just don't really look like it on camera. And yeah, I just used Gloss Mod Podge on her. And I'm happy to add her to our audition. Now to the craft. Now to the craft. Okay, so if you read the title, then you would know this craft is for LPS potted plants. And for this, you are going to need orangey brown colored paint. I just picked orange and brown together. A toothpaste cap or a small lid or something. Um, oof. Coffee grounds. If you don't have the kind of coffee grounds you, that you put in the coffee maker, if you have the little Mr. Coffee cup, cup thingies, you can just, after it's all dried out, you can just rip off the tin foil thing and there'll be coffee grounds in there that you can use. And then you'll need some liquid glue and some fake flowers. I got these off of a, a bouquet of fake flowers. I asked my mom first, out of the way, so make sure you ask permission first. And then you can get the little fake flowers at the dollar store or a Hobby Lobby or pretty much everywhere. But I got these at the dollar store. Well, my mom got them at the dollar store. And I'm just kind of using them. And then you are going to need a pair of scissors, which I do not have handy right now. I can't show them to you. And a paintbrush. So let's get started. Okay, so you want to start off with covering your surface. Then getting your toothpick, your toothpaste cap, your paint, and your paintbrush. And I added more orange than brown. So it would be more of the ceramic color. And you can buy, I right, start painting it, but you can buy your own little um, plant pots at the craft store that I was going to. But when I went to Hobby Lobby to get them, the, in the, there was two of them in the little baggie, and guess what? They were smashed. They were completely smashed into little pieces. And when I notified them about it, they were like, oh, we're sorry. And I was like, do you have any that are in like your storage or something that aren't broken? And they're like, no, we didn't get a new shipment yet. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so, I'm s and they are expensive anyway. So, I just decided to make my own. So, oh, it's blinking. Calm down, phone. Calm down. Okay, I'll hold the camera now, hold on. Okay, so uh, that's drying. You can take a um, lid or small bowl or something. This is the part, apart from an Easter egg. And mix some, um, some coffee grounds. Like that with some glue and use a toothpick or a wooden dowel or straw, stir, or whatever you use to mix it up. 
And if you want, you can add a little bit of water to make it more runny. So it's easier to, it's easier to stir. Just gotta mix it up. And I am gonna add a little bit of water. Just a little bit. So it just gets it a little bit more runny. Cause the glue made it really sticky. And then you just want to make sure it's all mixed up nice and well. And after it is, you'll have your dirt. Okay, so I ended up using a little bit of brown paint to get the right color. If you do it right, you probably won't need the brown paint, but I did because I put too much water. So it turned too light. But yeah, now you got the dirt. Um, you don't have to add... You can add way more coffee grounds and only a little bit of glue. The reason you need the glue is so it will actually harden and dry and it won't just fall out when you put it in your drawer or whatever. So, yeah, that's why you need the glue. Um, okay, so this is almost done drying, but not completely. So we are we're going to wait for it to dry and then we'll put another coat on. Um, okay, so while uh, your paint is drying for the second time. Now you can take your flowers, that was a little longer. You can take your flowers and cut off any uh, little excess things that you need to cut off. Just rip that off. And there. I'm gonna make this one a little bit longer so it will look different. And it will probably look like that. I'm going to take this one out. There we go. So now there's three flowers that will be stuck in there. And yeah. Okay, so this is done drying. And this is the dirt. Looks like dirt now. But I let it sit for a little bit. I have my flowers. And just in case, I have my glue. So what you want to do is use something small like I'm using this cut wooden dowel to put the dirt in and then you can just smush it down to the bottom of the toothpick or the toothpaste lid and then oh camera's freaking out again okay there we go and then you just let it Eventually, it would all get pushed down, then it will surface. So, looking for me, I made just enough dirt. Okay. Like that. Ooh, calm down, egg. Okay. Ooh, calm down, elbow. Everything's freaking out today. Okay. Okay, wait. Turns out we're not gonna need the glue probably. You can just stick a flower in there. And then you can just stick the flower right there. And then you can use my finger. It smells really good since it's coffee grounds. It smells coffee in my room now. <laughs> and then after the dirt dries you will have yourself an LPS potted plant. And that's it. It seems more complicated than it actually is. And I really like how it turned out. It's still white on the bottom, that's fine. But yeah, it's really cute. I, I hope you try this, and if you do, let me, know, let me know down in the comments. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.